Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech. My own custom mod pack, and in this episode, there's a couple things that I would like to get done. I would like to get a starter house built. I'd also like to get some really early game power generation going as well. So let's start with that because the route that I'm going to go uh, is going to take a little bit of charging time, I guess would be the best way to put it. I'm going to go with some survivalist generators from extra utilities. So let's grab a stack of cobble and let's see, how many of these do I want to make? I'm thinking maybe, maybe four of them. Let's just actually grab a couple stacks of cobble and we'll make four furnaces. We need four pistons. Uh, we'll need some of that and we'll need a little bit of that. And, oh, oh, here we go. Let's make four of those. And I am going to need a little bit more iron, it looks like. I've done a pretty good amount of mining between episodes. Oh, that also reminds me. We are also going to have to head down there. So let's, um, where do you want to put this? Let's just make a power room for the moment. Let's just kind of right in. Oh, I'm out of. I am completely dry. My pickaxe broke. That's right. I'd forgotten about that. Okay. Let's just make a little power room right here, I think. It doesn't have to be all that big. It doesn't have to be all that fancy. We'll just maybe make it like a... Like a six by six, I think, should be just fine. There we go. And this will be our power room and the room where we'll put a couple little technical machines and things like that, just until we get our starter house kind of up and rolling. There we go. So we'll put our four survivalist generators, just like that. And in each one, I'm going to put three coal and that should charge them up all the way and then I'm going to want a power cell of some sort but I don't think or an energy cell here we go I don't think I have enough to actually make a decent one yet these hold up to a hundred thousand we might be able to get away with making a leadstone one if I make some lead, if I smelt up some lead, we might be able to do that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, actually, let's just smelt it. Let's just smelt it all up. That's probably a little bit easier. Uh, is there anything else I'm going to need? Copper. I will need some copper. I've got a little bit in here. And a little bit in there. Okay. Let's just get this stuff going. Um, we'll take out the iron to make room for the copper. There we go. Okay. So, while that's going, um, I should probably also get some sand smelting. And then, we're going to head down to the mines down here because I found some diamonds. These were the first diamonds I found. I saved harvesting them for the uh, first episode. So let's get ourselves some diamonds. We've got... What would that give us? Six? That's not too bad. But I also found some diamonds right over here. And this is a dense diamond ore vein. So that's going to give us even a little bit more, which is great. And there we go. Did I miss any? I think that's all of them. Okay, let's just throw a torch right there. All right, so that's kind of the administrative stuff out of the way. Now, I do want to get to building a little starter house. I think that's going to be very important. I'm tired of living in a hole, a hidey hole, which is where I've kind of camped so far. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to kind of pick out a location, and I've kind of got a spot in mind. I'm thinking that ultimately, um, 
Where's... Here it is. Ultimately... Ooh, it's... It's night. Let's take a nap. Uh, I'm thinking ultimately there's a big field right next to us, and I think that would be a pretty good spot for a fairly simple starter home. So let's put a little bit of this stuff away. I uh, won't need that. I will need a chisel. So let's get that. And I'll probably need some of the sacred oak. And I should have enough cobble. Okay. I think between these things right here, we should be able to build ourselves at least a, a somewhat decent little starter home. Uh, ooh, there is one other thing that I almost forgot, and that is this. I want to make myself a sickle. An iron sickle. And what, what that's going to allow me to do is clear out large portions of this grass at one time, which is going to be really nice. Um, maybe we'll just make our starter house right up here on top of this hill. Let's see what kind of, see how this looks without all the extra grass and junk. It's a reasonably good space. I think we can work with this, especially if we fill in this hole. I think that will give us plenty of space. So let's grab some dirt. And we can fill that in accordingly. Let's see... Dirt. And we'll just do away with the torch. That we put down there before. There we go. And... Hole is... Filled. Beautiful. So that'll give us a nice... Pretty large, flat space to work with, which is exactly what I wanted. So the first thing is I want to kind of lay this out. And it's just going to be a starter home, so it's not going to be super big. Um, I'm thinking we'll go like 5 by... Hmm, interior size of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Maybe 5 by 9. That's not too big. Let's put that right there. Does that look about right? I think it does. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll maybe bring this part out another three. Or maybe we'll just leave it like this and do, let's see, one, two, three, something like this. And then this little part will kind of stick out just a little bit like that. Yeah, that should work. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to bring all of these up to five high. Like that. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's go into our chisel. And I'm going to use detailed stone bricks. Or detailed cobblestone bricks, technically. And we'll do something along these lines, I think, as kind of like a foundation for the house. I'm sure you've seen me build in this kind of style before, so this probably won't be anything new and groundbreaking for you, but that's okay. And then the floor. We need to do something with the floor here so let's just tear it up with our excavator that we built last episode and we'll just do something like that there we go looking good okay patch that up and let's refill that then with sacred oak planks there was a big old sacred oak tree that I chopped down because it would be a great source of wood. Uh, chopping one of those down will give you just an insane amount of wood. And at the point, at this point in the game where pretty much any type will work just fine, I thought it was a great option. That tree was uh, right over there, I think. I think that's where it was. Uh, okay, so we've got that going. And then maybe what we'll do is right here... 
we'll do something like this. And this will kind of form our little window kind of wall area. Let's do that. There we go. And we'll just kind of build this around like so. So we'll have two windows right there. That doesn't look bad. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. Do I want to have two windows here? I think I do. I think I want two separate windows there because then I can put a ladder that goes up to the attic. I think that's the best choice. Because we're going to need you know, some rudimentary storage space and all that kind of stuff. We'll put a door there. Here. I'll bring that over as well. And then, let's see... This would be two big picture windows, and I think that is just fine. So, let's put some torches up, like that. That will keep the inside of this all lit up nicely. And now we can head up there and worry about the roof. So, let's just kind of pillar up. And let me get this all filled in. I'm just going to put a solid layer right on top of this uh, sacred oak wood. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got that all done. We got the ceilings in there just the way we want them. Now, um, the next step, I think, is going to be the roof. And I think I'm just going to use cobblestone stairs. Um, I could use, like, carpenter's blocks or something like that, but it's a starter house. So it's going to be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine to do it this way. Uh, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it or any of that kind of stuff. And what we'll do is right... Actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's get that. We're going to bring this out just a tad. And then up here... Ooh, can I reach? I can reach. Up here, we're going to put a row of cobblestone stairs. Like so. And like that. And then we'll do basically the same over on this side. Oh, come back, you. That'll go there. And you'll go right there. Okay. That looks pretty good. So, let's just make a little staircase to get up to the roof. And now, I can get to work on the actual roof itself. So... What we'll do is kind of make like a triangle shape like this. There we go. And then I'm thinking right here is where I'll have a way to get up there. And that's kind of what I'm going for at least. And uh, let's just do that. Just scaffolding to get back up under the roof. Okay. And I do need a whole bunch of sacred oak stairs. So let's make a bunch of those too. In fact, I'd probably be better off taking this crafting table with me. I think that's probably smarter. And we are getting a little bit low on food, so let's munch on some of that. There we go. Okay, now for the roof... I'm going to keep it pretty simple. We're just going to go sacred oak stairs just like this. And those will come all the way over and up like that. There we go. So that looks pretty good. And we'll bring them across. Do, 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 do. Simple roof, nothing fancy, but it will, it'll, I think it'll look good once it's all done. I do really like the sacred oak texture as a roof texture. I think it looks really nice. So we'll get that, and like that. There we go, that looks great. Okay, now, I'm going to need some cobblestone slabs, and, oh. Actually, I've already got a whole bunch of cobblestone stairs, so we don't need those right now. Let's 
Grab this. On top. Oh, hey you. That's not what I wanted to do. On top, what we're going to do is put a row of cobblestone slabs like this. And we'll bring it out one more. I love the lighting that this sunset brings. It's not quite shaders. It's certainly not quite shaders, but it does look quite beautiful. Get that there. And we're almost finished with the roof here. Not quite, but very close. I'm just going to finish this up. Misplaced blocks as usual. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So let's take a look. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That will do the trick, I think. We can get rid of all this extra scaffolding and such. Can I reach? No, I can't. Um, all right. Well, it is definitely night, so I should probably go and take a little bit of a nap. Although I think I'm going to move the bed into the new starter house. Because I think that, uh, that makes sense, right? We'll just put it right here. Take a quick nap. And... Beautiful. Okay. Now, the next step, we gotta get this bit fixed, because that's gonna bother me. So we'll kinda come up here, bring that down, and then we're just gonna do some stairs, upside down cobblestone stairs, just like that. There, that looks much better. And, oh, and this needs to be... I almost forgotten about that. We gotta work that a little bit, too. I knew there was part of the house that I was forgetting. Here we go. So, we'll put one of those, one of those, and that one will go there. And then back here... Right there we'll put an oak, or a sacred oak stair, and right there we'll put one. And then, I guess we'll put one right there, and do something like that. Yeah, that'll do. That will do the trick nicely. Okay. Uh, and actually, we'll put a sacred oak stair right here as well. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now we got to do the same on this side. Oh, fix that. There we go. Looking good. And then basically the last thing we got to do is just get a ladder that goes up to the attic and uh, some sort of roof, or not roof, some sort of uh, windows or something. So let me get some stuff together, guys, and I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back, and I just wanted to bring you a quick update. The uh, survivalist generators are all full for their power buffer. They're all sitting on 100,000 uh, 100, RF right now, which is great. So now I need to make myself a leadstone energy cell, um, and that will help store a good chunk of that power. So let's grab ourselves some redstone, because we need... A block of that. What else do we need? We need three copper ingots. Okay. We need a redstone conductance coil, which requires electrum. And if you're not familiar with electrum, basically it is gold plus silver. We'll make electrum. And... There's one of those, and then we need some glass, which I believe I already have. So we'll make a leadstone energy cell frame, and then a leadstone energy cell. And that will hold 400,000 RF, which means if I put that right there, and in the middle of all four of these survivalist generators, uh, it will just suck the power up from them, which is exactly what I want. And then we can put a little bit more coal into each of these so that they 
will continue generating power. So basically what I want, this will give me about 800,000 RF at my disposal once I actually get into making some of the, uh, the basic technical machines like a pulverizer, some of that kind of stuff. The other thing I want to do is I want to make another backpack. Um, this mod pack does have the, I don't remember what mod it is that adds it, but it basically allows you to, uh, smelt zombie flesh and turn it into leather, which is quite useful, obviously. And let's just make a light gray one just to dif uh, differentiate it from the other. And we've got a whole bunch of glass in here as well so that we can make glass panes. Um, that should be enough. And finally, I want to make a couple ladders. So let's just do... That should be fine. And I think I've got... Yeah, a few sitting there. Okay. So, that should be good. Let's go ahead and throw the window panes in, although I might want to chisel them first. Let's just see. Bubbled. How would it look if we went with this instead? Um, I think I prefer that over the default. We'll just put those in the windows like this. And that will look pretty good. We do need a door. I just realized that we don't even have a door. And I hear a spider upstairs. Oh, and a creeper. And a creeper. Oh. Oh, man. Uh. All right, guys. Let me get this all fixed up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. I am back. Man, that was totally my fault. I should have lit this upstairs area up a bit better. Um... But, like, the genius that I am, I neglected to do that, even though it's, like, one of the basic rules of Minecraft. Oh, man. Oh, well. These things happen. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. All right. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit of sacred oak up here. And there's not a ton of space up here, but that's fine, because this is just going to be used basically for storage. Uh, let's take a look. Can anything spawn up here? It doesn't look like it. Um, there are some things that can spawn in here, though. So I think we'll kind of mix our torch placement up a little bit. And that looks good. That looks good. So this is a spawn-free zone. This is a spawn-free zone. I think we're in good shape. Now, we do want a door. Um, I'm just going to go with a simple wooden door for the moment, just for the time being. And there we have it, guys, a cute little starter house. That will do the trick. That will do the trick nicely, and we'll hit, we have some early game power going as well. Um, so I think we're in good shape to truly start our journey. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.